Hello, welcome to Postcolonial Space. I'm Masood Raja. And today I'll address just one question. And that's the question of the neutrality of a scholar. Can there be a neutral position or how to write and research in a way that your passions are involved in it, but you're still not just deeply subjective. So the question of neutrality, and is it possible? Uh, so this came up in uh, our uh, monthly discussion of our dissertation and research discussion group, which I have just recently launched, and people joined it. And I'll post a link to that in the description so that if you feel like joining us, you're all welcome. And one of the scholars very aptly was troubled by this question of neutrality, but also this question of can we write our own selves into our scholarly work? And to be honest, I mean, there is no simple answer to that, right? My personal ideas about it are that first, we always want to work on things that we are passionate about, that we care about. The moment I say that, that means that me, myself, as I am at this moment, is then invested in that project. So in so many ways, the interest in the project is deeply subjective, right? But then where does that subjectivity come from, right? Does it stem from this inner core, unsullied by the world? right, and it resides there until I extract, extract it and express it. And that's where my point of view is pretty materialistic, right, and that is that what we believe or feel deep down is also socially constructed. Things that trouble us about the world, things that we care about are connected to our lived experience, what we have learned, what we have read, what analytical tools we use imperceptibly sometimes to see the world. And that, in one way or the other, already directs our gaze, so to speak, to, a, to certain things in a text, right? So if I'm a leftist scholar and I'm reading a novel, part of what I'm reading is what is the text ideology? Who does it address? Which class interest does it privilege? Will everyone do that? Probably not if they are not trained as Marxist critics, right? So my point about neutrality then is that there is no vacant position that we can take a, a, as in a vessel with no expression and then express it. We always, you know, as Althusser and others taught us, we are always within an ideology. And if you go by Foucault, we are always within a discourse of knowledge and power. So the question isn't whether I can write from a non-ideological position or a non-discursive space, because that might be impossible, right? The question for me is, am I aware of my own confirmation biases? My cognitive biases, my ideological biases, right? And then when I read a text or write about a living situation, am I aware that my biases are at play? So at the best, in my opinion, a scholar both of humanities and social sciences, they cannot write or research from a vacant space, right? but they can at least be fair. And being fair means that, okay, you lead with what you believe in, but you also acknowledge that there could be different points of view. And you accord those different points of view their due importance. Incorporate those in your discussion. And if someone is opposed to your views, you hear them out, right? Then you'll be doing a scholarship that is nuanced and that is fair to people who might not be within the same discourse as you or might not be part of the same ideology as you. So that was my answer 
inconclusive as it is in today's discussion. But I'll be happy to hear your views. Uh, have you had experiences where your professors or anyone else has asked you to adopt a non-ideological position or to adopt a non-subjective position? And if you do that, do you think it can effectively be done or is it just semantics, right? Is it just you not naming yourself but calling yourself the researcher, right? And letting the research speak for you. What are your views about that? And I would love to hear those. Um, as far as I am concerned, um, I have never probably written something that didn't, that wasn't subjective and that wasn't guided by my interest and my politics. But what I've trained myself to do is to also develop the capacity to look at the same body of knowledge from other perspectives and see if someone else is reading it differently, why are they reading it differently? And to me, that is kind of a fair scholarship. It allows me to use my own preferences and my own politics of thinking about a text, but it also creates a space in there for me to be at least attendant to how others are reading a certain text and, and be respectful of them and be tolerant of differences. So these are some of my thoughts on this issue of neutrality and, and subjective research and writing. I hope they are useful to you. As I mentioned, please do share your ideas and experiences in the comments. And if you feel like it, please do join our dissertation research group or just us. You don't have to be writing a dissertation, just the research group. The link to the website or how to sign up would be in the description. That's all. Thank you so much. Stay safe. Take care of each other. And I will now see you next time. Until then, peace and love.